Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the hypocalcemia. So what hypocalcemia is? Hypocalcemia is just the reduced level of calcium below 8.5 or more severe than that below 7.5 and give several manifestations and among which the major one is the tetany. So uh, we have the normal level of calcium from 9 to 11 mg per dl and among like among the all the uh, level of calcium we have the free calcium level which is anized and which is biologically active of around 5 mg per deciliter whereas the, we have the bound calcium level which is bound with albumin actually and that is around 4 mg per deciliter so these uh, is this becomes the label and now what causes the hypocalcemia actually so what like what is the major regulatory things or the hormones so we have the major regulatory hormones that is parathyroid hormone and vitamin d right so if any disorder any kind of conditions that may cause the, the reduced release of PTH or reduced formation or secretion of this vitamin D vitamin D then we will have hypocalcemia also if there is any defect in absorption or reabsorption from the intestine or let us say or if there is any kind of like disorder which we do through which or if any kind of dietary intake is lesser then we might get hypocalcemia I will not go much in detail about the causes of this hypocalcemia but these are just in a general overview now we have to see uh, let me give you just a slight information about how the calcium enters the cell just giving the information that uh, it has the ligand gated channel which are controlled by usual neurotransmitters and hormones and due to which the calcium enters into the cell whereas we have also the voltage gated calcium channels which are controlled by the electromembrane potential then after that see to maintain the electrical neutrality or maintain the level of that uh, resting membrane potential uh, we have generally we have seen that we have negative outside and sorry negative inside the cell negative charges are more inside the cell and positive are mostly outside so all those neutrality the maintenance of repolarization and depolarization again what will happen if there is more calcium inside after then it has to come out then it comes out through this calcium pump then another channel is the calcium sodium exchanger sodium calcium exchanger and through which the calcium come out now let us see what happens if there is decreased in extracellular calcium level so what actually calcium does is suppose this is the sodium channel so what actually calcium does is it like controls or it maintains the entry of sodium through this uh, sodium channel so let us see we can also call it as a gatekeeper of the sodium channel then what happens is actually calcium level stabilize makes this uh, sodium channel stabilized and maintains the excitability of neuron and in, in a way that will excite the muscle so now what happens is there is a reduced calcium level the reduced calcium level in hypocalcemia usually below the 7.5 mg per dl what will happen is it will stop controlling so what will happen that the threshold or let us say that level will be like increased for sodium channel opening and that will allow more sodium to enter inside the cell so in lack of calcium the sodium channel will be destabilized sodium channel gets destabilized that is uh, prone to more excitability and more like uh, hyper excitability or the more impulse will be generated and in turn what will it cause is that involuntary muscle contraction that is involuntary muscle contraction now it is spontaneously controlling the contraction it's like spontaneously the contraction is going on which is out of our control so that contraction is usually called as the tetany that contraction is usually known as the tetany and what happens if further the, the reduced the further level of calcium decreases in our body and in prolonged state what it can cause is 
the symptoms like seizures can be manifested due to the hypocalcemia somewhat and cardiac arrhythmia also can be manifested so now what are the things or the signs or the diagnostic method or that will help us in identifying this hypocalcemia so we have the ch wostek signs we can say ch wostek signs or ch wostek signs actually so in with in this test what we do actually is tapping on the facial muscle sorry first of all the facial muscle contraction so i am giving you the result what result is occurring is facial muscle contraction occurs which is very severe that is might be painful and that occurs due to tapping tapping on the facial nerve actually and facial nerve which we can like locate or like surface marking is through the around the surface of the parotid gland or in front of the ear or below the zygomatic bone so in this way if we tap on this area there will be sensitization or hyper excitability of this facial nerve and that may cause the hyper contraction that is involuntary facial contraction contraction of the facial muscle that is giving us the sebostic signs positive now we have trosseus signs trosseus signs is actually handcuffing our brachial artery so suppose we are like taking a bp and that uh, cough uh, we have that name of a cough ribarokai cough so if we cough the brachial artery nearly for 3 minutes then what will happen is there will be a carpo pedal spasm and this is the diagram uh that our hand this is the wrist so there is contraction at a wrist joint and this diagram is usually given to us in many of the sporters and that is showing us the trosseus signs positive which means the condition is a hypocalcemia the clinical case is of the hypocalcemia then after now let us see any extra so this is all about the hypocalcemia and titani actually now let us see about what is like tetanus and titani so there are tetanus which is pathological and as well as physiological so what we have to understand is that in pathological tetanus there is the clostridium titani the infectious this tetanus is infection so tetanus toxin released by the clostridium titani inhibits the gaba or glycine which are the neurotransmitter which are inhibitory neurotransmitters so the release is stopped or inhibited from the presynaptic junction there are different processes of release of neuron from the terminal to another post synaptic junction right so in that way the synaptobrevin synaptobrevin synaptophysin these are the proteins which are like disintegrated or somehow altered due to this titanus toxin and that is like no release then there is uh there is no inhibition of the neuron the neuron are now hyper excited now neuron stimulation is like increased now that will cause the muscle contraction so that muscle contraction is like descending in order which starts from the jaw which is also called as a locked jaw condition and then it will descend to the upper limb then to the lower limb so that is the pathological one and then we have the physiological tetanus which means we have which which means the sustained muscular contraction without the periods of relaxation and there is sustained muscle contraction when we will see the properties then we will have to see this tetanic contraction so this is due to the repetitive stimulation of the nerve and that is also known as the tetanic or tonic contraction so this much for uh, the hypocalcemia and tetanic and i will just give you very brief information about the alkalosis and the effect so in alkalosis what happen is actually albumin albumin also we know this is a protein then it has the uh, amino terminal and carboxylic terminal so in alkalosis what is happening is that this h is dissociated and it remains like this in the negative form so what happen is actually calcium is the positive ion which will come and bind to this and in that way there will be kind of reduced ionized or uh, free calcium so that will give us the false hypocalcemic level that is false hypocalcemia can be called so usually total calcium level is same but what is happening is actually we might seem at a like the reduced and there will be reduced function of the calcium so this is just a brief and extra information so this much for today this is all about the hypocalcemia titani and we understood about the what is physiological or pathological tetanus then after we understood the soaps 
chopstick science and the trousseau science and the slight about the biochemical basis of this tetani how tetani occurs thank you so much see you again subscribe to my channel channel and now if for any comment for any queries do comment below thank you so much see you again and bye bye